What's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we will be uh, reviewing the fetch and hold process or the hold conditioning process that I recently took my pup River through. Now this was filmed a couple months ago uh, but I have compiled all the uh, footage that I have and just wanted to walk you through the process. Now I understand that there's three major ways of uh, hold conditioning uh, a dog and that is force fetch, hold conditioning, and fetch and hold. Um, and since we're using Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy and their 52 plus program, uh, we are doing the fetch and hold process. Uh, now I know there's a lot of people that swear by force fetch, but that's just not the route we're gonna take. And I think that we are achieving the same result as those dogs that were force fetched. In the video, you'll see his first day ever doing the process, a week later, uh, and then at the finishing part of it, kind of linking it all together in the retrieve. Yeah, before we dive into the video, I'd like to say that, you know, Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy is amazing. Not only does it make you train your dog, but it kind of trains you as the handler too, because this is my first time around. And, you know, Josh does a really good job in his videos in explaining uh, what behaviors you should be looking for and how to correct them and uh, how to praise the right behaviors and mark the right behaviors. So, you know, if you're ever kind of considering um, training your own dog, uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend Cornerstone. Um, and I'll leave a link down in the description below and you can get $50 off whichever package you end up choosing. That being said, let me pop in the earbuds and let's uh, start getting this uh, React video going. By the way, isn't that just the most satisfying sound? <laughs> uh, before we get started, you know, I'm not really trying to teach it all in these videos. I'm just trying to show you the process that River and I have uh, gone through. And so I'll kind of just be talking about it because I'm not a trainer by any sense of the word. So. Uh, I really just want to highlight our process and kind of talk about my thought process through it, not so much teaching. So in this first uh, session, this was his first day, first session, uh, we're, we're like only looking for him to uh, touch the bumper. And, you know, we're marking that with a click and treat and it's just repetition, repetition, repetition. And that's what you'll see moving through in this video. All right, River, let's go to the place board. He means business. Place. Yeah, he's like the most food motivated dog ever. Place. Good. Good boy. All right, so we're back out for our fifth and final session of the day. Um, and he's picking up, he's like nibbling on the bumper a little bit. I'd love for him to start actually grabbing onto the bumper, but we'll see. Um, you know, he is a different dog than Violet, so. Uh, hopefully, you know, he is very smart and he's picking up on this really quick. I just hope that, you know, it clicks in this Violet session. is the dog they use so, in their videos. With that out of the way, let's start fifth session plus. number five. Josh's personal dog. So. He picked Good. up on it right away. Like, Good right away. Good boy. Of bumping. Started the off with a normal. hard part was getting him to click Good. and hold on to it. Good boy. That was another good chomp. Good. Got three good chomps in a row. Good. He almost had his mouth around it. Almost. Good boy. Good boy. I think I kind of forced that in, but good boy. He did so good. Good yeah, job. Goal. That was his best one yet. I definitely dropped a piece of kibble. Good. All right, calm down. Our whole goal was to uh, not really move or do anything so the dog can make the good decision. Good boy, good boy. I'm gonna hold this over a little bit. Good, good boy. Second, I mean, it was as you can see, it's just repetition after awesome. repetition, big after progression repetition after repetition. Good, good. He's taking little nibbles. He 
He's going with that little nibble route again. So just a few on that one. Eventually we ended up fading River. out the little Nothing nibbles. Dropped. I wouldn't reward him for that. And then um, I ended up rewarding. So now he's just nibbling oh. at it again. I don't know what to do here. Hmm. Thinking out loud. <laughs> Good. You can see him thinking. Sniffing. He's thinking. Awesome. Good, good boy. He was thinking about what was going on there? So I'm trying to fade out those little nibbles like I was saying before and, and really reward on the big Good, grass. good. I just wanted to click because he usually bites on that right side by the treaty hand and he bit on the left side. So I wanted to treat for that. Good, right in between the lines. Good boy, good boy, good boy, yeah, good boy. Nothing's on my hand, right? Good, good boy. I kind of had to help it in a little bit because he was just nibbling, nibbling, but it was open so close, so I kind of just tucked it in there. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Josh, let me know. Yeah, so I sent this video to Josh. Good <laughs> boy, good if boy. If I could get some uh, coaching help in response since you know this is my first time. And uh, yeah, the whole CGA community is awesome. Good. They're super helpful. Oh man, we're getting close to the end. So we're almost done with our session. I think a couple good reps and we'll end it there. Good boy. Yeah. Oh. Man, we've been struggling a little bit on, you know, developing the tree retrieve and then, you know, we came to this point and then oh, it's starting to click. This is awesome. Good, good boy. All right, we have enough for one more. One more good bump yeah, and that's overall, it. His first day went really well, I think. That was good, that was good enough. Good boy, buddy, good boy. All right, we'll wrap session five there. And now this, uh, I ended up going to uh, visit my parents back in Illinois and um, this is a video of me training them at the, their new home uh, back and so this is about a week later and this is the progress we're showing almost get so now he's wrapping his whole mouth around the bumper and we're trying to make it click to where he's holding it it's so close See him thinking. Fetch. Dead. Good. Adding the Dead. verbal commands. Good boy. Now that he understands the what his job is supposed to be. Fetch. Dead. Trying to develop Good. that hold onto the bumper. Um, not really putting any pressure, but just keeping my hand uh, under his 
uh, jaw just to see what would happen. Fetch. Dead. Good. Good boy. Yeah, in each of these sessions, we would do four sessions a day, and each session would just be a few minutes each time um, to make sure he's completely interested. Because after a while, you know, puppies lose interest. So, Fetch. oh, he almost has it. Dead. Good. Fetch. Dead. Good. Good. Oh. Fetch. Trying to see if he'll hold on to it. He's he's almost there. In the next video, you'll see um, he'll definitely get a good latch on it. But for this session, you can see the progression. Now, this whole process took us about uh, three weeks from start to finish. Uh, and for some people, that's a really long time. But uh, for us, you know, we wanted to make sure that it was done right. And uh, I wouldn't say River's better than any dogs, but I don't think it was that strenuous of a process either. So I'd say we we're about average for... Uh, what we see going the cornerstone route. Getting distracted by someone in the kitchen. Fetch. The bumper might have been a little high. Dead. <laughs> Looking at my brother filming. <laughs> Looking back in the kitchen, getting hungry. Fetch. Fetch. Yeah. Oh, awesome. So now this is the video where it all linked up together. Got his first hold. It couldn't, that couldn't have been a better moment. And so now, uh, once he was able to hold it, then I would set it on the ground and tell him to fetch it off the ground and then go back to place with the hold and then tell him dead as the release command. And we were feeling so good when we could link this all together. And so this was, that, this was two weeks later and then on the third week, we kind of linked it all together with the retrieve. So, um, yeah, you can kind of see there. Oh, a little correction. That's right. I didn't want to release him until I tell him to go fetch it. So how it fell I didn't I wanted to make sure that he is consistently getting a good hold on it um, and again I'm this is my first time handling a dog so I'm pretty sure I did something possibly wrong at that time but uh, overall I think it looks really well like for what we're doing he's still getting close but it's he's not cigar holding it that's the main problem or the main, not main problem, main issue, is I really do not want him to cigar hold. So he's never really done that, and I don't want him to do that moving forward. Um, Fetch. 
Right. Yep, and so this is the third and final week, and we're kind of linking it all together. I'll have them on a yep. remote sit and then give them the command to come back. But you can see the perfect distraction in the background. Ducks pouring into the pond. River. Look. Good. Fetch. Awesome. Good boy. I'm trying to figure out how to grab it while filming and clicking and yeah. Dead. Good boy. All right, we'll do a single mark. And as you can see, the duck pond is loaded right now. Side note. Yeah, we recently yeah, moved in uh, that perfect Heel. distraction in the background. Good. Look. Mark. River. Not a cigar hold, but a Good. hold nonetheless. Good Trying to boy. fix it a little bit. Perfect. Let's fix that. Good. Hold. Hold. <laughs> Still trying to figure out that. Dead. Good boy. Awesome. Let me put these away. Yeah, it really wasn't that long of a three week process and uh, River, I think, did a really, really good job given our circumstances of being in the apartment and then going back home for the holidays and then moving to where we're at right now in our, uh, our new condo. And so, uh, yeah, overall, I think he did really, really good. Now, uh, where we're at in our training, you know, we're a few uh, months ahead of that. And so now I can essentially fetch him on different objects, uh, whether that be wooden dowel, a bumper, uh, Dokken, whatever it is, uh, I can get him to fetch and hold it. The other day was his, uh, his birthday. <laughs> and so I would have him fetch his, uh, presents. And sometimes, you know, they weren't like bones or anything, but, uh, like a tick remover package or something. And he was just holding that for a picture. It was funny. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching this longer video. Uh, I know that it's not super action intensive. It was really just kind of focusing in on that one behavior and rewarding that behavior. And I really hope that, you know, people can see that there's other routes other than force fetch, because personally, I don't know if I could ever force fetch a dog. And, and I don't know if I believe hundred percent in those practices. And if you found this video helpful, go check out Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy. I will leave a link down below for you to get $50 off whichever package you end up choosing from them. And also, if you found this video helpful, give it a like down below. Uh, it really, really helps. And if you could subscribe, that would help as well. And uh, comment down below and let me know what you think. Yeah, let me know if I did something right, something wrong, uh, what you believe in. Uh, yeah, would love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you next week. Peace.